And we'll get to that story in just a few moments. But first, an historic building in Schenectady is structurally compromised tonight. It's the so-called Nicholas Building, and it made news earlier last month when the former Olander Mattress Building was torn down. That revealed a ghost sign which had been hidden for more than 100 years. This is located at the corner of Erie Boulevard, you see there, and State Street, and that's where our Kimberly Howard is right now. Kimberly, I understand that the building's foundation may be damaged here. That's a big problem. Yeah, that's right, Liz. There are engineers, structural engineers on scene right now trying to figure out just how damaged this building may be. You can see that the entire section of State Street is closed off to traffic. So you do want to avoid the area here, but uh, we can show you exactly what's going on. Take a look. This is the building that they're all so concerned about, the Nicolaus building here in Schenectady. Police fire all on scene. This building is more than 100 years old. And on the other side, the far side of this building, you can see where the construction is going on. That's where there are what appears to be cracks in the structure, one major crack in particular. Now, Tai Tai Bistro is on the bottom floor here. Firefighters say that at least three apartments, four people on those top floors, they had to be evacuated from the building. Now, the building, uh, this all happened around three this afternoon. Firefighters say a demolition crew had been working in the lot next to this building. The deputy uh, fire chief telling me that they were pounding steel and they may have cracked the foundation. Now, that's not all of the damage. Take a look at these pictures from inside the building. These were snapped by the owner of Tai Tai Beach. She says the whole building was shaking. And as you can see, tiles came crumbling off the wall. Structural engineers now trying to determine what's next. It's an historic building. And as the mayor said, we had sensors in the building. The sensors tripped. We responded immediately. Engineers are on site. They're going to stabilize the building and we'll move forward. They're saying that it appears it's structurally stable in the short term, but we're again erring on the side of caution. So we're establishing a perimeter around it where there's no traffic, uh, either vehicular or foot traffic. Now those sensors the Metroplex chairman is talking about, he says those are put in buildings surrounding this type of construction. So that's just protocol. As for the owner of Tai Tai Bistro, she says she's extremely concerned about her livelihood. She has 10 employees. She's concerned about them. Of course, this is still a developing situation here in Schenectady as crews remain on the scene trying to figure out uh, just how much damage uh, and whether or not this building may have to be taken down. They are considering all possibilities at this point. But for now, we are live in Schenectady. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.